Welcome everyone. Get ready for an exciting journey into the world of spectroscopy as we present the seventh video of our captivating series, Spectroscopy for Biologists. If you're new here, don't worry. We've got you covered. You can catch up on all the previous videos by checking the links conveniently placed in the description box below. In our last video, we unraveled the fascinating principle of IR spectroscopy, giving you a glimpse into the amazing insights it offers. Now, it's time to take a closer look at the incredible instrumentation behind IR spectroscopy. Now let's understand how an IR spectrometer operates, utilizing the given components and details. To begin, the radiation source emits infrared light, which is then directed by mirrors toward the reference and sample cells. The reference cell allows the light to pass through a transparent material, such as KBR, without significant absorption, generating a reference signal. Concurrently, in the sample cell, the light travels through the substance being analyzed. Some specific wavelengths are absorbed by the sample, resulting in a decrease in the light's intensity. A beam chopper, driven by a motor, guides the light towards mirrors, such as M, M1, M1 prime, M2, M2 prime, and M3, to alternate between the reference and sample light. The mirrors ensure proper reflection and redirection of the light. The light then passes through slits S1 and S2. The slit S2 only allows infrared radiation with wavelengths between 4000 and 400 cm inverse to pass through. This selected range of radiation, known as reference radiation, reaches the detector, which measures its intensity. Afterward, the beam chopper directs the sample radiation toward the detector while the reference radiation is blocked. The sample radiation goes through the same steps as the reference radiation and reaches the detector. This alternating process continues throughout the analysis. Subsequently, the light reaches a diffraction grating, which disperses it into different wavelengths, enhancing the resolution of the obtained spectrum. After passing through the grating, the light enters the detector. Various types of detectors, such as bolometers, thermocouples, thermistors, or other sensors, measure the intensity of the transmitted or absorbed light. The electrical signal generated by the detector is then amplified to improve the signal's strength and clarity. Finally, the recorder displays the amplified signal as an infrared spectrum, usually indicating the percent transmittance or absorbance at different wavelengths. Ultimately, the detector identifies the frequencies that have been absorbed by the sample and those that remain unaffected. This spectrum provides valuable insights into the molecular composition and structure of the substance being analyzed, enabling scientists to gain a deeper understanding of its properties. That was everything for this video. In the next video, we will talk about FITR. Thank you for watching.